Bidding. Thank you for joining us for the Landmark Center Virtual Moonfest. My name is Gil Tham. My name is Bian Hee Tran. My name is Han Yen Tan. We are the Beatles, a charity group. Our mission is to help people in need using music to bring love and positive energy to the world with our compassionate hearts. Welcome to our presentation of Dead Jong To, an annual tradition for Vietnamese children. Due to COVID-19, we are doing a virtual celebration. We're glad you can join us. Tết Trung Thu means Midfall Festival. It is said that the Midfall Festival came about as a way for parents to spend time and celebrate with their children after the harvest season. The harvest was done by September, which is August by the lunar calendar. It is held under the full moon, which represents fullness and prosperity of life. Today, the Midfall Festival encourages affection for children, promotes education, arts, craft, and culture with traditional Vietnamese dresses and food. We are honored to share with you our traditional dresses from the north, central, and south of Vietnam and traditional food. We will try to replicate the scenery of Vietnam as close as we can at the Vietnam Farm and the Event Center in Medina, Minnesota. We hope you enjoyed the show. The Outdo Thang was worn widely by women centuries before the Ao Yai. As Vietnam expanded southward, Ao Tu Thang gradually became associated specifically with northern women. Ao Tu Thang in modern-day Vietnam tends to be extremely colorful, using different hues throughout the dress, from the tunic to the bodice and the skirt. Ao Yai Hue is a traditional long dress that is popular nationwide. However, through many ups and downs of time and history, Ao Yai Hue still carries the quintessence, soul, and personality of Hue people as well as interesting stories about the historical culture of this land. Hue women choose the color for their Ao Yai to be in line with the color of the sky along with the surrounding environment and the unique solemn look of the imperial city of Hue. Hue women always retain their gracefulness and gentleness. <laughs> Ao Ba Ba is a traditional southern Vietnamese garment. It is a typical outfit that has been with the southern women for many generations. The image of the Ao Ba Ba reminds people of the pure and simple and gentle beauty of women in the countryside.
The L itself is the top part which covers the torso. It is most associated with rural southern Vietnam, especially in the Mekong Delta. How do we make it? So when you, in order to make it, you have to boil the jelly powder with the water. Um, when it's boiled completely, you can add sugar depends on how sweet you want. You can add coconut cream on top of it and mix very well. Depends on the color you like. If you like pink color like this to make lotus flower, you can add the pink color from extract from beets and then mix. And on top of it, when it's done mixing, we can use the syringe with the uh, special kind of needles. So this is the needle uh, for making the lotus flower. So when you do, you're going to inject it from here, get into the syringe first, and then insert the top of the needles. And then when you do, you're going to go straight from top here, go straight down, and then inject a little bit. So for this one, when you do for the most inner layer of the flower, just go straight from there. And then when you keep doing for the second layer, you're going to lean with an angle. So that way the flowers look a little bit bigger. And this is the second layer. And then when you keep doing, it depends on how thick you want. So you can have multiple layers. So this is the most um, outer layer for the flowers. When you're done with all the flowers, so for the base of it, in order to show the flowers, you can add different color. So in this case, I use the coconut creams. So I mix coconut cream with the uh, jellos that already cooked. And then when you're done, just pour on top of the cake and just let it solid. When it's done, you can see all the colors will pop up pretty well in there. How thick do you have over there? Yeah. So, so this is the moon cake. Um, this represents for the Nepal festival. So we have all different chefs, different kind. So you can see the different chefs for the design there. Or the. It's sweet, right? It's sweet. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes they have a salted egg in there too. Flour. The lid to, um, 
crispy and all and crunchy. And for the ingredient we have for the flour, this is how uh, the flour. What the flour is called bun cell right here. And the instruction in the back, we add the coconut milk. You can use any kind of the coconut milk, cream milk. We have turmeric powder, like the yellow, to make the flour. And you have to add some more water into the flour too. We have um, pork and the shrimp, the raw shrimp and uh, the pork. We boil it first, or you can slide it in raw if you don't have to boil it. We hope you enjoyed the show and we'll see you next year.